بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأقربنا بنور الفهم وافتع علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم آمين وأجمعين اللهم ارزقني بنعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين رب العالمين سوف أقوم بإعطاء شهادة حضور مباشرة بعد حضور محاضرة قصيرة على قناتي في اليوتيوب بعد تعبئة النموذج المرفق في التعليقات إن شاء الله I will issue immediately an attendance certificate for my short talk on my YouTube channel after viewing the talk and filling the attached form in the comments. If you want to receive or to earn a certificate, please fill the, the form attached. My short talk today is about bone destruction. And as we see here in this image, we have uh, different types of bone destruction. We have the geographic type and we have the moth eating appearance and we have the permeative bone destruction. In this short talk, I will discuss the geographic uh, bone destruction. As we see here, this is a bone, geographic bone destruction uh, due to simple bone cyst. Geographic bone destruction is the least aggressive pattern of the bone destruction and generally indicative of a slow growing lesion. The margin of the lesion is usually either well defined and easily separated from the surrounding bone. This margin may be smooth or irregular, but in either instance, it is usually clearly demarcated with a short zone of transition from normal to abnormal. In some instances, a sclerotic margin of a variable thickness surrounds the region. The thicker and the more complete of the sclerotic margin, the less aggressive the bone, the less aggressive the bone process. Examples of this uh, geographic bone destruction. Geographic bone destruction can be classified or subdivided into three types. Type 1A, the region has a sclerotic margin around the destruction of the bone, and it is usually these, ben these lesions are benign, slowly growing disorder. Examples, unicambral bone cyst, non-usifying fibroma, Inchondroma, chondromyxoid, fibroma, chondroblastoma, fibrous dysplasia. As we see here in this patient, this is the bone destruction with the sclerotic margin. As we see here in the distal tibia, in patient with non ossifying fibroma. Here, another, another multiple patient with sclerotic bone destruction type 1A, this is patient with chondroblastoma and this patient with chondromyxoid fibroma and this patient with simple bone cyst. Geographic lesion sometimes have a sclerotic lesion, but that gradually fed into adjacent cancellous 
bone. And this seen in chronic osteomyelitis, bordis abscess, and histocytosis. Geographic region with no sclerotic margin, lytic region. These lesions have sharply defined edge, but not the sclerotic margin. Normally, tropically are present up to the edge of the region, but the tropically are removed along the plane of contact between the lesion and the normal bone. The lesions mentioned in the type 1a may also fall in this category when they demonstrated more aggressive behavior. Some of the regions here, this is the well-defined region with no sclerosis. Here, this is patient and this patient with giant cell tumor with legion, it is lytic legion and well defined. Here, another legion patient with uh, aneurysmal bone cyst. Geographic legion with ill defined margin in this type of legion, there is focal destruction, but there is also a spirit of the disease beyond. Is the visible, beyond the visible lytic region. This creates wider zone of transition at the margin of the region, with, which reflects the greater biological activity. The region is less well defined, and in this region, destruction of the cortex may result with perforation of the bone. Sometimes it is associated with soft tissue mass in the, and indicating that the region is break the cortex. And we have some examples like giant cell tumor, aggressive type fibrosarcoma, chondrosarcoma, other lesions. Here, this is a defined lesion with lytic lesion. And here we have the lesion here in Yosemite bone cyst, but the superior portion is not well defined. And here patient with Ewing sarcoma and with osteo reaction and the lesion is not well defined. And here patient, patient with contour sarcoma and the white zone of transition of the lesion seen. So, lesion is more benign if it is A, and the biological aggressiveness increase from type A to type C, as we discussed in the previous examples. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadwan la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.